Well, what you see here is a picture of my colleague, Professor Wayne Pittard from the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, surrounded by some of our students and some of his students. Uh, this involves a project that we are doing together and which his students and our students are doing together to uh, image uh, ancient cylinder seals. Cylinder seal was the ancient equivalent of your uh, signature card. Uh, what you did in ancient Mesopotamia, you didn't sign things because they hadn't invented signatures yet. But what you did is you wrote a uh, document out by impressing uh, with a reed stylus in wet clay little wedges. And then when you wanted to finish writing the document, when you wanted to sign it, you take a, a cylinder-shaped object which had an intricate design on its rolling surface and you would roll that across the, the er, an area on the clay tablet and that would stamp an intricate design and sometimes your name as well written out and uh, that was how you endorsed a document so that it was uh, signed, sealed and ready to deliver. All you see is a, is a small stone object without really the ability to uh, see a lot of detail. Uh, in order to see the detail, traditionally the, the seal was rolled out on uh, a media such as clay and then the uh, impression itself was studied or photographed. Uh, what Bruce and I have always wanted to do was to find a way to photograph the cylinder seal itself and get the information right off the surface of the cylinder instead of the second generation impression. Uh, this gave us the ability to uh, actually study how the scribe made the seal and also uh, enabled us to show the beauty of the individual stones that were used to uh, create the seals because many of them are made with uh, beautiful uh, semi-precious stones and uh, they're uh, really quite beautiful to see. What's so interesting about this particular seal is that the figure that is uh, the god is the god Shamash. Shamash is the god of the sun, and Shamash is often presented like the sun as though he has rays coming out of him. And what you notice here is that the uh, artisan looked at the grain of his particular uh, cylinder seal, and he place shamash right in the place where the the grain bends into a U and so so that it looks like it's all coming out uh, like an aura from uh, him. Now this is something that you would never see in the seal impression but nonetheless the uh, artisan uh, saw this and said well I might as well take advantage of this and from, for aesthetic reasons he put him exactly in the right place for that to that uh, effect to be uh, seen. And in fact, uh, what's interesting is that I didn't notice this. It was a student who noticed this. The student said, look at this, you see, this is what's going on here. And I said, oh my goodness, you're right. So uh, this was in fact uh, something that a student picked out. And this is not unusual. The students seem to be very, very good at seeing things in these images, maybe because they're looking at them with fresh eyes that uh, we don't necessarily see ourselves. What you see here is one of our students uh, working on the computer doing the basic work. One of the things that was interesting, this is, uh, we thought, pretty sophisticated imaging work, but uh, when we brought the students in, by the second day they had pushed all the professors out and said, you guys can sit over here in the corner while we do the imaging, thank you very much. So. Uh, uh, they indeed uh, did the work. So what you see here is uh, one of the University of Illinois students uh, uh, doing this. I'm just sort of checking the light in the background. But uh, for the most part, uh, by, the, by the second day of our work, the students had taken over. The students are in the process of all rolling out their own seals. In other words, each student in the class has been assigned an individual seal to study. So among the things they're doing is they're doing what was done in ancient times. They're taking the seals and rolling them out on clay, and then we are doing these uh, polynomial texture mapping images of those uh, impressions. Now that's something similar to what people did before, because as uh, uh, Ken mentioned to you, they've always they always uh, took pictures of seal impressions, but. These are seal impressions uh, photographed in a way that's never been done before because you can take the light 
thanks to this PTM imagery, and move it in any direction, therefore look at it from any light angle. And you can also do all kinds of wonderful uh, uh, enhancements that bring out every detail of the impression in a way that has never been done before. So it's like what our students have uh, uh, to work with. They have images of the actual seal itself that no one has ever had before, and they can turn and look at the seal impression itself and look at that in a way that no one has before. Plus, they'll have x-ray pictures. No one has had this repertoire of information on cylinder seals to study before. And by uh, the end of this project, which will be this spring, uh, this coming spring 2007, uh, all of this information and the students' assessment of this will be up on the web and available for all the world to see. And what I think is particularly exciting about that is that the most sophisticated cylinder seal site that has ever been produced will have been done by a group of undergraduate students at the University of Southern California and the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Isn't that a wonderful thing to think, that undergraduates are leading the way, that they are the cutting edge of research in a field like this?